Okay, today I'm going to go ahead and take all this beautiful figured maple and get it ready to make some beautiful drawers that I'm showing you right here. The drawers are going to be in a future episode. But right now I want to go ahead and take these guys. You can see they're real rough. They're wide boards. And I need to take them to the planer. So first thing I need to do though is get rid of these staples. Make sure that these are completely removed. I don't want anything to be hitting the uh, planer knives. This guy is too wide as it's over 13 inches, so I need to straight line rip it. So take it over to the table saw, straight line rip it, and then I just rip it to just under 13 inches so I can fit it in this planer. So this is the first time I'm actually using this on a significant job. I've just kind of tested it out and used it on a couple little things. And this thing's rock solid on the uh, base that I made. Um, I'm going to show you a new little item that I bought just for this planer. It's pretty cool, right? Just that little spring uh, clamp there. It makes it so much simpler, so I don't have to break out the screwdrivers and all that stuff. I really like this. For, what, $8? I, I got two of them, so I'm pretty happy about that. Well, take a look at this. This is me feeding this at regular feed rate of the dimensioning. So that's number two feed rate. And it is really pretty slow, but at the end of the day, it's much faster than speed one, right? So you gotta basically start with speed two. And as you can see, I'm running this and I'm actually running these pieces up against the hose, which I'll talk about later. Only after six or seven passes, I'm already filled up. So I have to empty this out and I end up emptying it a few times. This is the hose I want to talk about. Um, I routed it this way so I didn't have a bind going up, but I realized that it's rubbing up against the wood and I'm getting some serious um, static electricity. So every time I move the hose away from the workpiece, it just gives me a nasty shock. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this and route it behind the line boring machine. It actually proves to be much better this way as it doesn't interfere with the boards. All right, here it is again in uh, full speed. And this is it at speed one. Quite a difference, huh? So the last few I ran at uh, speed one just to get the best possible cut. And uh, it does help, but it, man, does it take a long time. <laughs> oh, man, this thing does not go as fast as the other planer, I can tell you. But uh, And it's freaking loud, even with my earbuds in. I think I got so spoiled with the other planer that I kind of forgot uh, how loud these guys were and how slow they are. At the end of the day, it's small, it's compact, and it, it fits perfectly in that uh, area there. So it's very nice for what I need. The most it went up was like right there. So that was a little more than a 30 second probably. But on those finishing cuts, I actually was down below the 30 second mark. And I'm really good. This setup is phenomenal. I, I mean, I couldn't be happier with the way this worked. And although I could, I could use an outfeed um, uh, assist here just to kind of Keep, if I had an outfeed assist, I could probably um, feed it faster, right? Because I would feed this side and then follow it up with another while this is being pushed off. Um, so that probably is going to be something that I'm going to build. I mean, the finish is pretty good, but there's a there's basically like lines, you know, almost like uh, you see that there's like a, actually I can feel what appears to be raised areas here um i did get snipe but um the snipe that i got i mean it's there but it's next to nothing i'm very happy about that watch it come out and see if there's a bunch of chip out if there's a bunch of chip out i'm gonna go the other direction you can see these arrows um there's arrows on them and that kind of just lets me know what direction i'm getting the best results on boards this wide you typically you're going to have changes in direction um, even on this side versus this side so you may get chip out on this side and not on this one 
So you kind of have to just take each piece, you know, by itself and um, just live with it. Well, stay tuned for the next episodes as I show you how to build these beautiful drawers complete with hanging file folders as well as custom variably spaced dovetails. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.